Uh, speaking of shit, let's talk about Amber Heard. <laughs> yeah. It's safe Crazy to say ass segue. <laughs> wherever Amber goes, shit follows. <laughs> yeah. So um, so chat, if you don't know, uh Amber Heard moved to Spain amid break from acting after Johnny Depp trial. Yeah, she's uh I wonder how much money she's going to get from um from Aquaman. I believe she's in I, I think the most recent uh trailer that dropped shows her in it, but I heard the movie is not gonna do that well based off of like predictions but uh yeah um it's i i i think i think it's donezos for her i think she's probably just gonna live off yeah. whatever she has and just probably just yeah. work a regular thing yeah let's see uh amber heard what the fuck get the fuck out of here okay amber heard has reported re reportedly relocated to spain with it's also suggested that she isn't any uh hurry to return to work actor 37 is said to have moved to the uh country with her two-year-old daughter una <laughs> okay uh after get out, get out of here uh after having reportedly sold her home in yucca valley california just last year it comes after they were spotted in majorca or majorca i don't know Ma majorca i think it's majorca uh towards the end of last year with a local saying at the time that amber leads a very normal village life as if she were a native she's however now said to have permanently moved to somewhere outside of Madrid, with it suggested that Amber has quit Hollywood and quietly relocated to Spain. Well, as long as uh, you keep her fucking uh, fifty, uh, what does fifty feet away from um, uh, Johnny Depp at all times, right? <laughs> Restraining order against her. But the thing is, that this is not the thing that's surprising because what Grace yeah, and, sent and, me and, was the yeah, 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 yeah. Lakota's quad. Remove the word quietly because it's not quiet anymore. No, definitely not quiet. <laughs> it's not quiet anymore. Yeah, you know, everyone knows. So, but the thing is, what this says here, right? She's officially moved and talks about her, uh, her, her lawsuit and stuff like that, and what happened with Johnny Depp. But what's more importantly, Amber Heard allegedly pooped on the streets of Spain. <laughs> I actually believe that she did this. Yeah, I actually yeah, that's think that this happened. It, yeah, it, it's it's so absurd, but. At this point, I'm just gonna believe it too. Yeah, <laughs> God, this is insane, right? Let's see. Um, oh, Amber Heard, what have you gotten yourself into this time? Following series of controversies from the infamous defamation case against Johnny Depp, the cheating scandal to being caught kissing in public, the 36 year old actress has fallen from grace. This time, Amber was caught on camera dropping a disgusting deuce in the streets of. Uh, Mallorca, Spain. I think that's probably spelled wrong. I'm not sure. Sadly, this isn't the first time she's associated with poop. We can already hear the echoes of return of Amber Turd. Oh, man. Um, me, me, okay, well, like I said, whether or not this is true, <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Me too. <laughs> oh, man, dude. No way. She's like, oh, I just have to go. I just have to go, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> she's she's a poop poopo maniac. Absolutely. Let's see. Damn, she just opened the OnlyFans where she just moved. She should make bang from weirdos. Not gonna lie, right? Look, um, <clears throat> I think uh, I think she's one of those like pretty girls that are like fucking psycho. It's like psychotic, right? But it's wild that she's actually like doing this, and uh, uh, if she actually just pooped in 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 public, like not even in the restroom, she's probably like smoking a cigarette and like squatting and dropping a deuce in the street of Madrid. Oh shit, man! Uh, you uh, you always need to mark your territory. <laughs> Area. <laughs> oh man, dude! No way, dude! Oh, as you can see, the picture. Uh, Amber Heard was caught red-handed doing the deed, pants down and all. According to Pop Topic, the uh, American Civil Liberties Union ambassador on women's rights was staggering drunk from a long night of drinking. In the presence of her friends, she stripped her pants and took a dump right there on a sidewalk right across where she was staying. <laughs> Oh, man, dude. Oh, yeah. I say, 
I wonder what's going on with DC right now after <laughs> seeing that. Oh, God. Well, you have her, and then you have fucking Ezra Miller. Speaking of Ezra Miller, speaking of Ezra Miller, have you heard of what like a fucking costume designer said? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I read the headlines, but I didn't really get into it. Uh, let's see something about like um you will forget like all of his, all, all of Ezra Miller's yeah, yeah. after you watch the movie. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, it just shows the people behind managing uh DC or in Hollywood in general. Mm -hmm. Pretty disgusting, if you if I do say so. Okay, yeah. So so here it is. So this is crazy, man. Like, look, look. Um, I don't really like. I don't like Ezra Miller at all, and I don't really care for him. Um, bringing Grant Gustin when you replace the Flash, um, I did like him when he was doing his stuff in um, the Snyder Cut, but overall, that movie could have been better, but it is what it is. But this is from Variety. The Flash production designer isn't worried Ezra Miller's history will derail the movie. People will forget that, right? So this is this is the, this is the article. I'm going to show it right over here. Sorry. Basically saying that the movie is so good you're going to forget that he assaulted someone the movie yeah. is so good you're going to forget that he basically kidnapped and housed like a bunch of people and had illegal guns in his vermont home mm -hmm. but it's, it's 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 wild man yeah great if the movie was really good, one of the best movies you've ever seen will you forget all the misdeed that ezra miller has done no <laughs> of course not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see what's what someone said. Moving Bob says uh, that what makes you makes remember, you remember more. more. The Flash will make you forget his crimes. Yeah, he's basically gonna go back in time and er erase all his history. <laughs> oh shit! This is this is wild, right? He groomed multiple children. Yeah, literally. Holy shit, yeah. man! Um, let's see. Run. Yeah, right here. It's, uh, it runs an actual cult. Yeah, the, yeah. No, let's see. Most normies will know nothing about him. Yeah. People, people won't care. It's like, oh, he's a part of the what I believe he was like getting arrested one time and he was like, oh, I, 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 I'm non binary. You can't arrest yeah. me. Like, yeah, what? I think we even played it on stream that video. That's crazy. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> as Warner Brothers gears up uh, to release the Flash in theaters this summer, many moviegoers are wondering how star Ezra Miller's history of legal troubles and alleged abuse might impact the release and press tour. The film's production designer, Oscar winner Paul. Osterberry, The Shape of Water, isn't sweating it. During a recent interview with CBC, Osterberry said people will forget Miller's history when the film releases. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, I, nope, I don't think so. I don't yeah. think so. I'm pretty sure when Rust's, and I'm pretty sure Alec Baldwin's fingers in the chat, when Rust's release is like, hey, did you remember that one time when, um, when Alec <laughs> yeah. Baldwin killed a person? <laughs> You're gonna forget that once yeah. Rust releases. <laughs> yeah, when Rust releases, the movie is so good. You're gonna forget that Alec Baldwin shot a person, broke all four rules of the fire uh, firearm safety in seconds. Oh shit, dude! Uh, as reported by the CBC, Osterberry says he's not too concerned about how the story surrounding uh, Miller will affect the film. People will forget. He said nothing, uh, noting that Miller did a superb job playing the titular hero as two distinct characters, which required production to shoot the film in two different chunks. Uh, OK, now Variety exclusively reported last August that Miller was seeking treatment for complex mental health issues. The actor was cited in Vermont with a felony burglary last year after state police investigated an incident involving several bottles of alcohol being taken from a residence while homeowners were not present. In 2020, M Miller made headlines after a recording of uh, re recording surface in which he appeared to be choking a woman outside of the bar in Iceland. No charges were filed. The actor was also arrested twice in Hawaii in 2022, once for disorderly conduct and harassment. In the Hawaii incidents, Miller pled no contest to a single count of misdemeanor disorderly conduct and paid a fine of $500 and thirty dollars in court cost. That, that's it. Yeah. Well, well. Apparently, the movie's gonna be that good, <laughs> right? Alleged. Yeah, I think. Uh, 
what do you call that term where, where people get to watch it in advance? I forgot that term. It's, it, like uh, uh, just, uh, I don't know, early access, uh, pre-release. I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like early yeah, screenings just, or something. Yeah, something like that. So they're saying it's, it's really, really good. But I don't know. I don't. I'll probably find other means, <laughs> like I usually mm. do. I, I won't be buying. I won't be supporting this guy. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, that's crazy. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad Ezra wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.